Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make this stylized fire or smoke effect. So here I am also using an alpha erosion technique. I will explain that later. So you can change the color of this to get different results. So you can get a blue color or a red color. Or like an orange color for a fire you can also change the black to whatever color you want so you can get all sorts of interesting effects by controlling the colors you can also change the amount of heat colors in the particles so let's start making this particle system if you are new to my channel subscribe so all you need to create this particle system is just this texture it is called t underscore smoke sub uv it can be found in the texture folder of, to, of your starter content so now right click and create material and open it up now select this uh, T smoke sub UV then go to the material and right click and type in sub UV and then select particle sub UV so we get this now change the material blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit now get an if not and connect the red channel to A and press S and click so we get this scalar parameter and change this to amount change the name to amount and the slider mean should be 0 and the slider max should be 1 and connect this to B and change this value to 0.5 I will explain what this is doing later so now connect this to MEC color then we need to give two colors here so for that press and hold V and click and I will name this color underscore one and I will just duplicate this and connect the first one to A greater than B and the second one to A less than B now change this to white now right click and type in subtract now get a particle color node by right clicking and type in particle color and connect the alpha to B and connect this to opacity and connect this alpha to A now press apply and save now right click and create a new particle system open it up now go to record and go back to the content browser and select our new material uh, this one and click this arrow so it gets selected and apply it to the particle system now go down here and uh, change the interpolation mode to linear blend and change the sub image horizontal to 8 and vertical to 8 since we have an 8 by 8 sub uv 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 by 8 now we will add a sub image index so sub uv then sub image index and uh, if we have a 8 by 8 sub UV we will have 64 sprites in it because 8 into 8 is 64 so here we will give a value of 63 so it starts from 0 so we give it a value of 63 so what happens is that uh, whenever the particle spawns 
uh, its lifetime is 0 0 the first particle will be there and whenever its life ends it will be 63 so the last particle will be visible in the particle system so now I will drag our new particle system out uh, it is barely visible and there is some issues so so I forgot to do something so just create a material instance and go to the particle system now apply that material instance to the particle now go to color overlay then go to alpha overlay then expand this and for 0 0 we will give a value of 0 and for 1 we will give a value of 1 so as the particle is spawned the alpha value will be 0 so value out of this will be 0 the value hits 1 we will get a value of 1 from this so when it is 0 the output should be so when this value is 0 the output coming from this will be whatever value the alpha is here and when the value increases this value get subtracted from this and uh, the output of this subtraction will go towards 0 as time goes by so at the end of the particle's lifetime the output from the subtract will be 0 so it will kind of decay normally we use a multiply here but in this case we use subtract so that uh, the so that we get a decay effect so if we use a multiply here we will get a fade effect which will affect all parts of the texture equally but if we use a subtract then um, the values that are closer to zero will be cut off first then it will grow and grow till the white white values will be cut off so we can uh, get this kind of decaying effect so the edge portions will be having a a lower value and the middle portions will be having a higher value usually one and this the edge portion will be having a value of value closer to zero so it will be cut off uh, first then it will grow towards the center so we get this kind of decaying effect so that's why we give and out value of zero for the in value of zero in alpha over life and for in value of one we give an out value of 1 also so when this chart it will be 0 and when the particle ends the value will be 1 so it gets decayed so that we get this erosion effect so um, we can see the particle here um, because of uh, this subtract so so there are only a few things to change so I will bring the module here and uh, right click and location then I will add a sphere module then I will change the start radius to 10 so we get an so it looks like this now I will change the spawn to 200 and the lifetime to 2 and 3 now I will add an initial rotation so our particle rotates a bit so now it looks like this Now I will change this to a GPU particle system and since this is a GPU particle system we need to set the bounds 
तो गोइ टू बाउंड्स एंड सच बाउंड्स we can also increase the number of particles spawned so i will change this to 300 if you need a bigger smoke uh, you can change the initial size or you can change the lifetime i will give a value of 3 and 5 you can also increase the size of the sphere if you need a thicker smoke now all you have to do is adjust the material instance so open it up then i will change this to black and i will change this color and adjust this value so I will give a value of 0.3 or maybe 0.25 so it looks like this now I will change this to black and I will change this value to whatever I want So now you get an effect similar to this. You can play around with these colors. Till you get a look you want. So the particles had a weird color because I was selecting it. If I deselect it, uh, the color goes back to this. And uh, you can adjust the color. You to whatever you want so you get a very thick smoke like effect like this Um, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.